Well, let me go ahead and share something with you that was very intimidating from my point of view. So one time back in Tennessee, this was quite a few years ago, I had the chance to fish with uh, Gerald Swindle, and he had just come off his Angler of the Year victory. And we were working down the shoreline, and he was picking apart targets and dropping his jig into places that just made my jaw drop. I was scared to actually cast. It was like, I even wanted to fake like a backlash or something. It was like, oh, uh, just keep going. You know, I, I got a problem here. It was so intimidating. Well, if you would like to outcast your buddy, okay, maybe every time you go on the water, here is a couple quick little tips that can really help you out and just increase your casting accuracy almost immediately. Number one is keep your casting arm tucked okay so let me go ahead and demonstrate that a lot of times you'll see new bass anglers they'll you know pull up pull their arm up cast overhand and the arm pulls away from the side of the body well if you keep this arm tucked like this makes a huge amount of difference in your accuracy because you have less moving parts okay if you um, kind of relate it to baseball all right and a pitcher pitchers develop accuracy by being repeatable and having few moving parts, okay? They don't want their head moving all over the place. They try to simplify the process. So that's number one, keep that arm tucked down. Number two, and we've talked about this before, is keep those eyes on target. Don't watch your rod tip, don't watch your hand, don't watch your lure, keep those eyes on target. So if I've got a target picked out, my eyes are locked into it, keep this arm tucked down and boom, I can go ahead and just drop that thing right where I want it most of the time. So those are two excellent, excellent tips. And this third one is something that it took me a long time to figure out. You wouldn't think it would. If you're struggling with casting accuracy, especially when it comes to you want just a little bit more reach, put on something just a tiny bit heavier. I'm a huge fan of fishing quarter ounce jigs, quarter ounce swim jigs, just love it. But you know what? There's times when I've got to go up to a half ounce, especially if I'm trying to get farther back into an area. So always make sure to keep several different weight sizes available, and that's gonna make a huge difference. And if you do these three things, I promise you, you're gonna go out there on the water and you might just outcast your buddy as far as accuracy every time you go out there. And hey, if you're feeling good, you can go ahead and share this little tip with him. Now, as far as tips go, if you would like to learn about my favorite knot, oh man, I love this knot, the Red Phillips knot, go ahead and watch this video right here. It's so good for attaching leader to mainline. And hey, make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.